with Stevenson head basketball coach Gary Stewart in the postgame here, 82-47 the final, the men defeat Hartwick College. And uh, Gary, you and I had a chance to talk today before the game, and you said that you know after the loss to Catholic, you still need to find your footing a little bit, and I think you probably did find it tonight just a little. Well, we, we did make some progress in some areas, but obviously there's some stuff that we still need to shore up and, and clean up. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. We've got to get back on the floor tomorrow, uh, but uh, anxious to get back to practice and, and try to uh, make some inroads on some of the things that uh, we desperately need to get better at. There's a lot of things to talk about and a lot of things that were impressive tonight, but a couple things that stood out. The hustle, first of all. A lot of bodies on the floor, a lot of loose balls. Player Connor Walsh throwing his weight around in a good way. Just talk a little bit about that aggressiveness that you guys showed tonight. Yeah, one of the things that, that I talked to the team about uh, both during practice and uh, shoot around a day, uh, we got to be more aggressive, more assertive. I thought that uh, uh, the first game of the year, um, we were back on our heels a little bit, and um, you know we've got to take some shots. We got to get in the middle of the ring and take some shots and continue that type of intensity. And uh, today was a good start to that. Thirteen players got onto the scorecard for Stevenson tonight. None of them had more than nine points. Uh, so just talk a little bit about the depth and how pleased perhaps you were to get a lot of players in the flow tonight. Yeah, one of the things I really liked was 15 guys got a rebound. And so um, it's always nice to get uh, uh, your entire roster into a game when uh, those guys are, are really working hard to improve and um, – uh, as a coach, you you root for guys too, as well as coach them, and so um, it was nice to uh, to get uh, deep into our ro roster. And then the other piece of that, Gary, was uh, as you mentioned, we got a lot of contributions from a lot of different people. We didn't have one guy put up a crooked number. We had a lot of people that uh, contributed tonight. 31 turnovers they had, and a lot of that was because of your pressure. I don't have the number in front of me, but I think you may have had 19 steals. Connor Walsh himself had six or seven steals. So again, tor towards that, you know, throw throwing your body around and making things happen. But also, just some other uh, impressive contributions. Mile Jackson, great burst, big first step, nice penetration. I mean, in a lot of different corners and a lot of different places, you can take a lot from this game. Yeah, I was particularly impressed with our, our freshmen, you know, uh, uh, Brian had composure at the end of the game when he came in. Um, mm -hmm. Miles was able to get into the lane and create some havoc there and finished a really tough, difficult to lay up. Um, I really liked the way Zach played. Uh, you know, Zach took really, really good shots. He's, he's as good a shooter as we have in our program. So uh, it was good to free him up a little bit. And, and then Ryan, who uh, we're really, really high on and excited about him, as we are with Kyle and, and Kendall and and, uh, and the like. So it was, it was good to get everybody in there. Yeah, it's interesting about Ryan Newell. I was saying on the broadcast it's like you, you don't have any 6'11 or 7 foot guys but you have a good stable of 6'6 six, 6'7 six, six, guys that you can rotate in and out Ryan Newell brought the house down a couple times tonight you got to be pleased with that yeah we're really working to, to try to um, continue Sodexo's business in the dining hall there and and get our guys a little bit bigger um, <laughs> you know there's there's two things you can do here Gary you can be tall but you can also be wide mm. and so we're making an emphasis to um, get in the weight room our, our strength and conditioning coach Coach MC McFadden's done an excellent job with our kids, and and um, and I think that showed today. I, I think that showed not only in their conditioning, but I thought our strength, our strength at the point of attack, was much better than it has been in, in the past. And and uh, not to not to uh, mitigate what Tony did prior to MC, because Tony really started this. MC's taken the baton and, and elevated it, and so we're in good shape that way. Okay, so a quick turnaround now. Four o'clock on Saturday or thereabouts, you'll take on Maine Maritime. I don't know if you had a chance to see them today or not, but they played the first game. They beat FDU, uh, Florham 65-56. You're, you're, what happens in a quick turnaround situation now for your team? What do you actually tell them? Well, we, we did get an opportunity to see them, and we've also um, watched them on film. And um, They're very, very uh, disciplined and patient, and, and they've got a young man that's going to shoot it as well as anybody we'll see all year, so we've got to get out to him. Uh, they're poised. Um, they, they take really, really good shots, and, and uh, they give you one shot and out so it's going to be a challenge for us and um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing if we can make a little bit of growth in a game that's going to require us to be really really disciplined and really really sound I thought tonight we got a little bit unsound defensively we reached a little bit too much for my my uh, 
um, taste. So we've got some things that we have to improve on, and hopefully um, in a short amount of time we can get that message across. And that's the last word. Gary Stewart, head coach Stevenson basketball, big win tonight over Hartwick.